especially when it comes to warm-ups. What, what, what's your philosophy and, and the philosophy you use with the Crusaders? I think primarily you are getting ready to perform physical activity. So the stretching and movements you need to do are, are dynamic movement patterns. So I think they actually enhance uh, core temperature, uh, which is important to start off the training session with, and also taking limbs through range of motions that are going to be used in the actual activity that they're about to do. The static stretcher, on the other hand, is really a recovery technique, which should be used at the end of a conditioning session or a training session, but really stay away from those particular activities when we first start. And you can see that there's a wide range of different movement patterns, different activities, high knees, butt kick, karaoke, grasshoppers, and these ensure that, particularly around the hips, uh, nice and loose because we do quite a bit of explosive type training as well. What about the skill factor? Do you, do you, do you combine ball skills uh, a, lot with your, a lot with your warm-ups? Depending if it's going into a straight conditioning session or there's a rugby component immediately post the dynamic warm-up, that will dictate how much I will probably be asked to program a skill related activity with the ball so that we're not only getting people ready to perform at a physical nature, but also switching on mental processes and eye-hand coordination to put the ball in play as well. What are some of those activities uh, that you've used with the Crusaders? As I mentioned in our overview, I think the season will be placed a high demand metabolically. So I think this year we did a lot more training activities to stimulate aerobic and anaerobic metabolism. They were including hill runs. Uh, Mount Pleasant Run is, is a particularly good one where we do interval training up the hill with uh, walk-back recoveries. We also do a lot of repeated speed on the flat and uh, that's based around our score from the aerobic test. So we can actually tailor make the program to challenge each individual metabolically. We do a lot of anaerobic games or conditioning games with the ball in hand. It's amazing how much more work you get out of players when you introduce a ball into it. It makes it more interesting. There's a lot of different activities on top of that that you get. You get a lot of spatial awareness, eye-hand coordination, and also the, the stimulus of the, the metabolic conditions such as aerobic and anaerobic metabolism. Also uh, in the gym, we've done a lot more circuit training this year, particularly with our group of players that perhaps didn't get as high a score on the aerobic test as they should have. So uh, beastly circuits where we combine a number of weight training exercises concurrently without a rest and also introducing a cross training equipment such as row machines, versa climbers, bikes and things like that.